You know, I would love it if I could find my phone right now. It's dying and I wanted to put it on the charger and I just got home and I just used it for something. I just used it to check the date and then I must have set it somewhere and I have no idea where it is now. I was watering my plants and I heard it beep that it was dying and I was like, oh yeah, I have to go get that and put it on the charger and I cannot find it anywhere. <laughs> Why does this happen? Anyway, until I find that, I just got home with a bunch of goodies. Yesterday was the closing day of my show that I was stage managing. It was a Christmas related show. And it's the first time I've ever worked on the Christmas show, like the show that happens around this time of year in this place in our season. First time I've ever stage managed or worked on that show at all. So I don't know if that's just because it's the Christmassy show or because this cast was especially kind and grateful and wonderful, but they sent me home with not just like a gift card to somewhere, which is usually what I get as a stage manager's gift, and I really appreciate that. My cast last year got me a gift card to Sheets because they know that I always stop at Sheets for dinner on the way to rehearsal, so I thought that was a really sweet gift. But this cast for this show got so many things, and I'm just completely blown away by everyone's generosity and I feel so appreciated and I love them all. So I have like three points set of plants now. This one is from my property manager in the apartments where I live. That thank you card is from my cast. And then I have this poinsettia which you've seen which is from my crew and this poinsettia over here which was just given to me by the whole cast on behalf of the entire casting crew. So I have three points that is this year. I was also sent home with things like this little soy candle, which is apple spice, this little miniature candle, and a star ornament that has my name written on it, some prop fruitcakes that we had for the show, holiday fruitcakes, this lovely box which contains an angel shelf sitter, which I have to get out and put up somewhere, Everything from the cast came in this crate. They also got me things like this tin full of Christmas goodies, moon pies. That was an inside joke from the show, but I can't really eat those, so I'm saving that for my friend. I don't know if I can eat this either, because I'm not sure what all is in it, but it is chocolate and peanut butter on a graham cracker thing. I guess it's kind of like peanut brittle, but not. But it's a graham cracker crust with peanut butter and chocolate, and a whole tin of that. That was from an individual family in my cast. This was not part of the official cast gifts, but it was an individual thing, as was that miniature candle, the little pink one. But the on the behalf of the cast gifts also included a 16 different tea assortment collection of Numi organic teas, which I love, and they didn't even know that. They just know that I drink tea because I've been drinking this at the theater all the time. Oh, they also got this really awesome handmade soap. It's frankincense and myrrh scented with gold designs. So very three wise men. There is a Christmas pageant in the play, so frankincense, myrrh, and gold, as you know. So just crazy amazing gifts already beyond what I normally would have expected. And the director gave me some of the furniture that was used on set that she didn't want to take home to her personal storage, and it was hers. It wasn't the theaters, or the theater didn't have room to store it anyway, even if she wanted to donate it. So I now have this lovely bookcase, which my cousin just helped me move in here. I also have this table, which we just moved in, and I don't know what to do with it yet. We had a tablecloth double-sided taped onto it, so I have to finish peeling that stuff off. But look, it's like an old school, ah, has like spot for your inkwell and everything. Very cool. And they sent me home with my very first very own tree. Oh yeah, and this star ornament, which I already attached to the top. Look at its shadow over there. So I get to have fun decorating this now. Let me turn on my wreath. <laughs> I have to get an extension cord still. And I'm probably gonna move the cat's box. The only reason it's out here is because I had a guest staying here, so I moved the futon which normally acts as my couch in the living room into the spare room so that they could close that bedroom door and sleep in there. And I just never moved anything back, so the cat has been out here since my guest was over. Oh, another thing that the cast got me, which you can't see because it's hiding behind here, is this little rosemary plant. Like, what? That alone is just, I think that's a wonderful gift. Everything, just everything was wonderful. So now I have a tree as well, my very first tree, so I will have even more 
fresh pine needles for my work. And I'm probably gonna maybe decorate a little bit of it today, I'm not sure, but my partner is gonna be able to come over during the week and hang out with me. So I'm gonna ask if they want to decorate the tree with me because I just think that's it's more fun to do it with other people. That's another reason why I wanted to find my phone. Still haven't found my phone, still hasn't beeped the entire time that I've been recording. So no one has texted me, no one has called me, I haven't gotten any kind of notifications from my social media. What's happening? Of course, when I need my phone to make a noise, nothing happens. But anyway, now I can actually take those ornaments from my broom and put them up. I can put my little mojo bag type things, like even this. This is a little bag of crystals that just has a little tag on it. It's called blessing stones or a blessing bag. It's just a cute little thing. I can hang that on the tree. My witchy ornament that I showed the other day. These ornaments can go on there. Any little tiny presents that I wrap up for my friends can go on there. And then when they come over, they can get it off the tree. My grandma does that. She puts our Christmas cards with money in them on the tree and we have to go get it off the tree. I would like to prop it up on something to make it taller, but that's not really a big deal. I mean, it's kind of tall. It's my height. It's taller than me, actually, which means it's more than five feet. I'm 5'2", so my tree's like 5'3". I need to do a lot of rearranging, too, is the thing. This is all a mess, like I said, because I had those tables that were just used at the art show, my futon's not in here, like, I don't know. This is my pine bundle from last year or two years ago that I put up here. It's completely red now, the needles. I always make a- ooh, ooh, it fell down. I always make a pine bundle and I tie it with a red ribbon. So now I have a fresh tree of my own to do that with this year. I'm gonna put this back up there. Or I could just burn it on the solstice like you're probably supposed to do. There we go, stay there by the roses and the little cauldron and the candles and the bear. Hello, bear. We found it. I got on my computer and Facebook messaged my- Oh, now I get messages. You couldn't have made noise when I was looking for you for half an hour. Nope. Nope, that's fine. I messaged my best friends on Facebook because they were both online, or at least Facebook said they were online at the time, but you know, sometimes Facebook lies to you. But anyway, my girlfriend was actually online, so she called me, so I was able to find the phone, and it was in a really stupid location where I had actually looked before, but I had just totally not seen it. I even pretty much sat right next to it, looking around the location for it. It was like half nestled in a blanket on my chair, but it was face up, so I couldn't see the bright purple. I'm like looking for purple, but no, of course not. When I set things down, it's always this way, so it hides. Making more noise, again. Oh my god, and more. See, why couldn't this just happen then? This is still my lock screen, by the way. And now my, oh my gosh, really though? We're making plans for tomorrow. My partner's texting me. Anyway, and my lady also is now hanging out with me. She couldn't help me at all, I guess. But anyway, so now I am gonna make myself a veggie burger because I haven't really eaten today and hopefully might get to hang out with my partner tomorrow to decorate my tree and I might get to hang out with one of my other very most important people in my life the day after that and I don't know when I'm gonna see my best friends for actual like gift exchange purposes. I haven't gotten anything for Evan yet, but I really need to. I've already done some gift exchanges with some people, like they just wanted to do it early even though I'm gonna see them like three or four more times before Christmas and I've done gift exchanges as late as New Year's with people or after the New Year's. I don't really care about when it is, it's just, you know, whenever we get together. But yeah, so I don't really know when I'm gonna see them, so I'm not sure when I need to have things figured out by, but... Oh, I forgot! <laughs> I was just on the phone with my friend and I was going to ask them about this tea and I forgot. Whatever. It's fine. I'm going to make a veggie burger now. And, oh, I left my computer on over here. Thank goodness for computers because if not for having my computer, I wouldn't have been able to contact anyone to ask them to message me or call me. And then who knows how long I would have been, would have been waiting for someone to message me because none of the people who are talking to me now started the conversation. I started those conversations after I had my phone back. I texted people. So just crazy the technology and how beholden we are. I accidentally left my phone at work a while ago and on my way to, I went to the bank after that to deposit my check and while I was at the bank I was gonna tell my friend something so I went to text them and realized that I didn't have my phone. So I drove back to work 
to try to get my phone from where I thought I had left it, but it was all locked up and my boss had left. So I went to the theater, which is the only other place that I currently have a key for because I was working on a show where I knew I could get on the internet to look up their number and then use the phone there to call because I don't have a landline at home. And I could have come home to use the internet, but I wouldn't have had a phone to call from. So I went to the theater because I had both of those things. So I went to the theater and called and my boss at that moment was at Walmart and said that they had found my phone and drove it to my apartment to give it to me, but at the time, remember, I was at the bank. Then they had gone to the theater thinking that I might have gone there, but nobody was there, because at that point, I had driven back to work. So it was just like this cycle of, you know, craziness, but I was just like, it's really ridiculous how much we depend on certain technology, especially something like my cell phone, which is the only way that I can contact anyone. And also, if I don't know where I'm going, I use the GPS to get places. I do have another GPS that plugs into my car that I can use, but it's not as up to date and I don't have any way of updating it because it's a hand-me-down type thing. I don't have the cable that allows me to sync it and give it updates. So the Google one through my phone is much more accurate and changes and updates with traffic and everything like that. So yeah, when I don't have my phone, it's just kind of a big deal. <laughs> but anyways, I'm still peeling the double-sided tape off of this table. I'm gonna see if my partner wants to come over tomorrow to help decorate the tree and help me figure out where to put some things, but I need to make a veggie burger, I need to eat. I need to eat something, so that's, and then I'm gonna edit this vlog and put it up, and I'm sorry it's not incredibly eventful, because I kind of forgot that I had to do a vlog today at first. I slept in, because the show closed yesterday, so I stayed up really late, and at the cast party and everything, which was amazing. It was at my friend's home, which I had never been to, but it's a beautiful old colonial in town that I've driven by for years and I've always wondered who lived there and what it looked like inside and it's just awesome. There's like a really old school elevator, there's a den with a hand-painted map of the world on the ceiling, there's a solarium, like I want a house like this. It's just amazing. So it was really cool to hang out with everybody and just chill and we stayed out pretty late and so I slept in and then I got up and just was like playing some games and messaging some people and just chilling and then we had to go, I had to meet my cousin at the theater to pick up that stuff like I said. So that's kind of what my day was revolving around. So I'm gonna stop talking now and eat for goodness sakes. I just like it toasted because I like it to be a little warm and crispy. Still have some dishes over here to do. My partner did all my dishes for me for Christmas, by the way. Super nice! You know, these bottom pour spout things, they're supposed to be really cool, but they always just make a mess. So sometimes I end up just spreading it. I'm gonna eat my burger and edit this video and do some general organizing of my space so I can like put the tables back where they go, maybe. I really like having my armchair in the middle of the room over there because then if I wanna watch a movie, I can see the TV. I don't know where I'm gonna put that bookcase. I really like it there. My cousin wanted to put it right there, let me show you. My cousin wanted to put it right there, flat up against that wall where the plates are. But my mom and I just hung those plates there when she was here to visit and I didn't feel like moving them. So we put it there for now facing. But he thinks it should go that way and put the plates here in the center of the wall, which might look nice. But I was like, we just put that up and I don't want to move it. Like, I just, I finally got it up. I have so few things on the walls. I don't want to move what is on the walls, you know? But I don't know. And I don't know where I'm going to put this table. Probably in the spare room. 
I'd like to use it as a work table. I plan on getting myself a four foot folding table like that I can take to events and things. So if I ever do vend at Pagan Pride, I'll have a table, stuff like that. And just anytime I do a little art show like the thing that I just did so I don't have to carry my end tables around. I can just fold this thing up all compact and put it in there. I actually keep forgetting that I have another gift card that I still can spend and that would buy me a table but I'm just keeping that kind of stuff on my wish list for the holidays right now. My brother hasn't asked me what I want yet and I'm probably going to get a gift card from my mom. So I'm trying to think of things that I need and want for my house because I know that my mom and my brother want me to get things that I actually want for my life rather than just you know paying bills with it or something. Something, like other things that I need to do like paying bills is necessary for my life I want that to happen but yeah so there's like like bookcase type things which now I don't have to ask for another bookcase because I have that one so I can take that off the list for now but things like the table what else oh they have this like adjustable desk thing that I thought was really cool that's like a little individual desk that you can pull up next to you and you can angle it to work on it. You can adjust the height, which I think is really cool because I like to work in a lot of different spaces, like at my table or at my armchair or on the couch and all those things are different heights. So, you know, I don't always want to be pulling up next to a table, like my dining room table or like this table that I was just given to work on, but I, I need to have some designated work spaces because there are a lot of other crafts and like my jewelry and things like that that I would be a lot more able to do quickly if it didn't feel like a chore just to get around to preparing to do them. Like right now I have a lot of my stuff in a bag because that's where it was after the art show and it just kind of all stays in piles because there's not enough room for me to work on everything constantly. Like you've probably seen my dining room table in the background of stuff but I'm not going to show it to you right now because it's awful. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I could be doing more of if I had designated spaces for it. And I think in these next couple of weeks when I have some downtime before I really like figure out what else I'm doing with my life, I would like to spend a lot of that time really digging into decluttering and like actually putting stuff in bags and figuring out something to do with it even if it's just putting it somewhere in a corner of a closet for now leaving it for some amount of time and then if I know that I haven't missed it then I really can just get rid of it and donate it or give it away to people or whatever because that's a huge struggle for me is I don't want to just throw things out and a lot of the stuff that I have is good stuff so I'd like it to go to someone who's going to use it and it's just a struggle figuring out how to do that because I don't like using online sites like Craigslist or anything where I would have to meet with a stranger. If I had someone else to go with me I'd feel more comfortable but just me being as I am that's not a situation that I like to put myself in, that's not something that I'm comfortable with and so I don't want to do it, which is fine. That's basically my struggle. I just have so much stuff and no designated places for it. That's how I can lose my phone for half an hour. No, that, that was an anomaly. I normally know exactly where my phone is at all times. There's usually only a few places that I put it. I have not gotten my patron thank you things in the mail yet. Maybe I will go mail a couple of them tomorrow and I have to pay some bills tomorrow because I just got some paychecks so I need to go to the bank. Maybe I'll go to the post office. I was hoping that people would have things by the solstice and I dropped the ball on that and I did not send them earlier. But I hope you all having a great December. As you know there is only one vlogstis video after this and that will be up the night following the actual moment of the solstice which happens on the morning of the 21st is the moment of the solstice and then the night following that I will be going to a winter solstice walk and you will see maybe some clips from the indoor portion of that but not the outdoor portion because it will be dark and candle lit along the trails maybe I'll get like a close-up of some of the candles lining the trails but you really won't be able to see anything and I kind of like it to be semi-meditative and I'll be spending time with someone so I don't like to vlog when I do that kind of thing so but that night and the morning following that will be when the last vlogs disc video goes up thank you all so much for watching so I'll see you next time until then don't forget to be awesome blessed be and goodbye